Oftentimes we hear the stories of cancer survivors and it can seem at times for them the painful journey is over. Tonight we bring you the story of one young woman who may challenge this way of thinking as she gets real about the life overcoming the illness in hope that others who walked in her shoes will share their experience. Janine Brown has the story. For cancer survivor Nicole James, being told by her doctors that the drilling experience of chemotherapy was over did not absolve her from the emotions that comes with life after the illness. Nicole says quite the contrary, she's had to fight even more. To me, his question was, if you had to do chemo and all those surgeries and went through all that, that you went through, or you have to face what you're facing now, which one would you choose? And without even thinking about it, I said chemo. Hmm. And he said, okay. And, you know, at that point, it kind of hit me what I just said. She says her doctor then advised that she begin taking medication for PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. But she decided she would have a different feat. I didn't know how to handle it. And he told me, he started explaining to me what was going to happen, yeah. what I needed to do, um, the pills that I would have to be on. Mm -hmm. And I told him, I said, listen, the Lord brought me this far, yeah. five surgeries, 12 rounds of chemo. I'm not taking any meds for this. Good. This is not going to consume me. It it's from this personal experience that the mother of two is advocating for a 5K walk in Tobago, themed a survivor's journey. As she says, survivors, not only of cancer, needed to be reminded that there is someone else who has had to endure a similar fight. There are other survivors as well, you know, domestic abuse, and these are things that are life and death for other people as yeah. well. And we want to really embrace these people as well because unity is strength. The walk is set to take place on Sunday, June 4th in Tobago. Nicole is urging all to come on board as she says people not only need to hear messages of hope, they also need to see it. Janine Brown, C News.